Well, I finally got it in. It's not a figment of your imagination. I finally got my Bobcat, the miner that many, many, many people have been asking about. Hey, can we do anything with these Bobcats? They're not working on helium. Can we put some kind of custom firmware? I sent mine off to the guys at Bit Harvest Studio. You all know I've been talking about this for a long time now, and I finally got it back. They've been running their beta firmware on it. They finally gave it to me to test drive, and we're going to get into it right now and see how it is. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's been a while um, since I have did a video with a camera or anything like that. And as you all can see, I'm still playing with the software, and I guess I'm going to have to get, you know, somebody younger than me to figure this out because i can't get it figured out but i'm trying so give me a little bit of credit so i'm very excited for this video and y'all will be able to see what the hype has been all about so we'll see all right so here we go first time test driving this with y'all we just select our region this is what i'm using Bobcat, like I told y'all, and we're gonna, of course, agree to everything. Now I have our plot configurations and start services, which I wanna do. So just to let everybody know, it's been a few minutes and we're getting the supply configuration and startup services waiting for all unity services to start up the guys did tell me that that this does take a few minutes while everything's on boards and these different things start up on this device so we're waiting for that and i'll be right back all right so now i got this notice that says onboarding is complete rebooting now i'm taking two about five minutes there's a little clock on the top that is correct so i when i go back and look at the video i'll be able to see exactly how long it was All right, I just rebooted my device. And here it is. That's pretty bad. You know what, looking, I think. So, like it says, at a glance, and shows my uptime, my network throughput, my RAM usage. Of course, this is also just starting up. Um, I don't know if these times are from when he last messed with him or anything like that, but. Looks like they're clearing up a little bit. So this is what the front page looks like. Of course, I got my fat face right here in front of that. So let me clear that up. How about that? So yeah, so we see some of these times on here on the bottom. And that was from January 20th. So that is today. So I guess that's one thing is maybe there's a configure button on how to change that time. So we have wing bits, crank, things one next, helium, honey gain, earn app, and pawns. So I am hoping that talking to these guys that they'll be able to add grass. I think they're waiting to see if grass can give them some kind of install pack that will, you know, box that will go onto their application because I am involved in grass. Helium, what they're telling me is that this device, since it was on helium before, can be on helium now. Um, Wing bits, they have to figure out how to get the USB working at first um, on these Bobcat devices. But on other devices that will be custom, you will be able to um, use wing bits off the bat with them on that. So, in the system menu button, we have a select Wi Fi. Um, I guess I can scan networks and it will tell me, you know, which one connect to. I don't know if that part's activated. Remember, this is, this is beta five version. This is still in beta. It says right here in the bottom beta five. So I don't know exactly what has been completely turned on so far or not. Um, they have hogtail messages, lower ran system management. So I have to contact these guys now. And now that I have this online and I can get into the dashboard, they are going to onboard it for me. And um, they got to push some updates to it. And then we'll see where it goes from there. But I am pretty hyped up. So this will be just my first video, just to give you all a first glimpse of what this looks like. I really like it. I am hyped up. Again, I told y'all. And 
my plan is right now is I want to get involved in all these bandwidth sharing. I have a lot of bandwidth that's coming through my um, house and my other private network that I have. If y'all have ever heard me talk about my helium or when I was with D-Flyer Wingbits, I have my own um, network from my ISP that goes to those devices where I have them remotely shared at. So I'm planning on doing bandwidth sharing on that. So I'm going to learn about these three things. I have helium. Uh, don't know about crank yet. I'm just not in the mood to go and, and stake that kind of money just yet. I'll find out a little bit more about things when next. And y'all know I'm very, very, very big into wing bits. So this is just my my first video to show you that I do have this in hand. And I'm ready to get pumped up and started on this. So I'm going to close this video out just on this. Just to show y'all that I did get this in hand. Just to kind of give you my initial thoughts, I'm really pumped up about it. I really am. I don't know why, but I just am. I think it's just to know that they've taken a Bobcat device and being able to do something with it. And the fact that we can configure it into with all these different projects and more to come in the future. I think this is going to be a very big deal. You also know that I'm very big on the BitHarvest Studio token, which I have purchased a decent amount of. and. I've had some other videos on that if y'all want to go find that. But for right now, I'm going to leave with this. And when this gets onboarded and I can start playing with it a little bit more, which should be the next day or two, I'll do another video just so I don't make these too long. And I will update those videos or start putting those videos out also as we start playing around with this. So far, this looks really good, and I'm hyped up to get involved in it. And just remember, if you want to learn more about BitHarvest and everything they're doing, go to their website at bitharvest.studio. That's bitharvest.studio, and you can see for yourself everything they got planned, everything they're doing. Make sure you go to their Discord. Discord is very active, and those guys will tell you what's going on there. Um, if you like this video, please like. Um, if you want to support me, support BitHarvest, so that helps the algorithm get everything out there. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel. And thank you all for everything.